Hi, Pisces. Okay, so I got a request for Pisces dealing with Pisces, okay? So for the month of October, this is the Pisces dealing with Pisces, okay? So I don't know how you guys are going to be able to navigate this reading, but I'll try my best since it's two Pisces dealing with another Pisces. All right, so Pisces, I'm going to let you know what this Pisces <laughs> overall energy is towards you for the month of October 2020th. Um, all my Pisces dealing with Pisces, okay, because I keep getting that request. Ooh, excuse me, you guys. <laughs> okay, Pisces dealing with Pisces. Spirit. What is the message? Okay. What is this Pisces overall energy to my Pisces? Okay. What is this Pisces overall energy to my Pisces viewers? That is a weird one, ain't it? What is this Pisces overall energy to my Pisces uh, viewer in the month of October 2020? All right, so Pisces, this person's overall energy of you is the Page of Swords. Obviously, there's some type of form. Uh, basically, they want to communicate with you. They want to um, talk to you or communicate to you in regards to a situation here. But I feel like this is having to do with the disagreement or argument um, here. Hmm. So somebody is wanting to reach out. They want to communicate. They want to talk to you. For some of you guys, you're getting some type of message from this person this month. There will be a message coming in from this person, some type of communication here, um, because their overall energy is that they want to communicate with you. They want to communicate with you because I feel like they need to. They need to speak about. They they feel like. Um, they feel like the conversation wasn't really over. They may have felt like you haven't understand something from their perspective or you don't understand what it is that they're trying to explain to you. They may feel like you're being insensitive to their emotions or feelings or it's something as if like, of course, they feel like they never, they feel like what it is that they had to say, um, I guess they didn't get their point across the first time. So this person is wanting to communicate and they're really is a very defensive energy, okay? It's a very tit-for-tat energy, almost like I'm going to get my point across. You need to listen to me, hear me out. Yeah, <laughs> two of cups in the current moment. This person really wants to communicate with you because this person really wants to be have this relationship. In the current moment, there's a relationship here that this person may be in or there's a relationship here. So there is a relationship. This person does want to be in a relationship with you. Um, they do feel like you are their soulmate. They do have this connection with you. I feel like this person actually want to communicate that they want to be in a relationship and they do love you. Um, but there could be something standing in between uh, the situation. So really, they could be feeling really burdened um, by something that they have to communicate with you. They're feeling very burdened by something that they're having to communicate with you or tell you they're feeling burdened by, you know, what they want to say or getting something out. This person feels like they're holding something in and they need to get it out. This is all happening because the Hermit is in reverse. This could be Virgo energy. There could be a Leo in this energy. But someone here is withdrawing from this connection. It almost feels like someone is trying their hardest not to um have to communicate straightforward or give you some type of answer about a situation so they're like avoiding you or they was avoid avoiding you so i feel like this person was avoiding a situation with you because of a possible relationship here maybe an answer i feel like in the past we have judgment so i do feel like um this person in the month of October, I feel like they're going to be communicating that they want to reconcile with you or there's going to be some type of forgiveness or reconciliation to the situation. The best case scenario, though, in the month of so someone's going to communicate here in the month of October that they want to reconcile. They're going to be expressing something here about, you know, whatever forgiveness, whatever. Will you forgive me? Blah, 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 blah. You know, I didn't really mean what I said. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but the best case scenario is a page of cups in reverse. So. Again, someone is pulling away, not expressing a lot of their emotions, not expressing their love. This is weird. It's like the fish is trying to go back in the cup. Like this person, there's a negative message regarding this person expressing their true feelings and emotion for you. And it could have to do with 
the background noise or other people, what other people feel, what other people think, what will other people say type shit. And in their future, I feel like this person is going to be stuck at a crossroads. So they're feeling burdened. They're stuck. They're not sure. It's weird because, you know, my last Pisces, Pisces on Pisces reading was really about indoctrine type of relationships where it may not fit the status quo of what someone wants or think. Um, so this could be like, you know, cultural differences, um, heterosexual, homosexual, all, whatever the fuck you want to call it, you know, whatever the difference may be. So I really feel like this person is really stuck at a crossroad and they feel really stuck in uh, in regards to what decision that they should make. But this decision, they're factoring this decision around what, every, what everybody else is going to feel, what everybody else is going to think, what everybody else is going to see. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the fuck anyone else thinks about this situation. It matters how you feel. And so I feel like they're burdened by making that decision and they're pulling away. They're pulling their emotions, their love away from you even though they want to be in a relationship with you. For some of you guys, they might even reconcile with you and get in a relationship, but it's like they're not really in the fucking relationship. They're like, they're not, it really feels like someone here is not really comfortable with exactly who they are or the situation. Because it feels like a, a feeling of being ashamed of who you are. And I feel like the way you're coming towards this person is a Knight of Pentacles, Pisces, other Pisces. <laughs> so at this point, you're really trying to go back and forth. You're kind of stuck. You're not really making the decision to invest in the situation. And you're growing bored of this shit, to be honest. You're really growing bored of this. Taking your offer back, not wanting to plant seeds, not planning shit. You're like, um, it's no it's no need for you to even plan a future here at this point. So you're growing bored of this shit here. You're growing uninterested. You're growing bored of this. Um, yeah. The way they're coming towards you is the moon in reverse. So they're trying to open up, open up, express to you something here that's, they feel like it's, they're trying to open up, but um, they're trying to shine a light on the situation here. And then, and the situation is that they feel they're burdened by like, they're burdened by, it really feels like they're burdened by what people see or what people think of them. Like, this is somebody who's not, it feels like somebody who's really not comfortable with who they are, or comfortable in their own skin. Um, and they're withdrawing. I feel like they want to open up to you or reveal about why they have been doing this or why this has been such a burden for them or such a task for them. They may be showing you, they may be showing you why this has been such a burden on them. Um, okay, so lately I haven't been too wrong with my intuition, so I'm just going to say what spirit just came to me. And you know what? I don't feel comfortable half the time, but I just keep saying this is somebody who's not comfortable in their own skin or comfortable with who they are. This is like, you know, feeling judged by others, you know, what they think of their relationship somebody like I don't know why I just heard her Murphydite what will someone else think that's not for everybody I guess it's an example and I guess spirit wanted me to just say it out say it for someone who it may you know resonate with or maybe they may feel like okay it's something like that I'm just different or there's something different about me or whatever so um this person is about to reveal to you the reason or they're going to reveal to you something here that they were shying away from and it's their truth it's their light it's their way it's their truth their light in their way Okay, I got this. I don't know why I just saw an image of someone just being. Um, uh, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but to me, people like that are so special to me because I'm a Pisces, and first of all, I just, I just like, I like something different. Um, you guys are really learning a lot about me, but yeah, like I'm, I'm really like attracted to people that are just totally opposite from me. Um, like, you know, I'm smart, but I like total, like, I like the nerdy guys. Like, you know, I like nerdy glasses. Like, you know, I like, that's just, it's just different things that, you know, like I like outside my race. I like different colors, I, you know, so this, but this is, this feels more extreme. This, this, for some of you guys, it could this be, oh, we're, you know, different, uh, races, but I feel like this is something that this person is not, it, it's, it's, it's a self healing journey is something where they have to be comfortable with themselves 
And I don't feel like they're accepting themselves. They're not accepting who they are, accepting the person who they are accepting. And, and to be honest, this makes me feel good because I don't see a three-party situation. I don't see that this has a lot to do with other people being involved, um, but it does have a lot to do with what other people think about the situation or about this person or what they feel, what someone else is going to think. Um, it's a very defensive energy here in regards to that. Very shy. Um, it feels kind of like embarrassing energy. But they're about to reveal to you because you're you're growing bored and uninterested in this. But you're you're still stuck on this person. Outside influencing how they feel about you is the devil in reverse. Okay, and like I said, for some of you guys, it could be someone. <laughs> it could be another person involved. Um, but okay, this person. Um, outside influencing how they feel about you is the devil in reverse. So to be honest, again. This could be another person involved in this situation and them releasing themselves from that situation. But to be honest, I feel like I have to go with what I feel. For some of you guys, I really feel like this is something um, that this is something that has been like, <sighs> okay. I'm going to go with this Hermaphrodite thing. Say if someone's a Hermaphrodite, I, I guess I'm saying it right. And they're ashamed to show someone that, you know, like, you know, they're afraid to get in relationships or be with someone and take things to the next level because of what they feel like someone's going to think, blah, 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 blah. I'm just giving an example. You guys, I could be so wrong. Um, when it gets to the time where it's time to be closer to each other, someone could feel uncomfortable who they are and how you're going to accept them. So I feel like outside influencing that is them releasing themselves from the fears um, or the, or, um, the opinions or something that they feel subjected to for some of you guys is like releasing themselves from something here that's it's, it feels like with the hermit and the devil here it really feels like it's a negative way of like being or looking at themselves and this is some deep shit with this hermit and this devil here this is some deep shit this is like something that mm, is this is something that someone like has to live with type of shit or like and they and because they have to live with this like I have to live with knowing that I'm a homosexual I have to live with knowing that you know I'm a heterosexual I'm an asexual whatever the fuck it's I, it's too much shit out here you know whatever you want to be be comfortable with that someone's shying away from that and they have like they may have told themselves that this is something negative this is something bad so this is someone who has really that's really going to have to relearn how to teach themselves on what is negative and what is good what is good and what is bad here so this is someone who see themselves in a negative light and i feel like outside influencing how they feel about you is they want to release themselves from these negative feelings and fears and insecurities and codependencies and habits and whatever the hell else it is that they may fear or look at in some way as negativity that is reflection on back on them You guys, this could be all kinds of shit. I'm just giving an example. You tell me in the comments. Um, what's in this person's hopes and fears is the eight of wands in reverse. So I do really feel like what's in this person's hopes and fears is that you're going to stop liking them, that you're not going to like them, that you're going to lose attraction for them, that you're not going to be interested. Um, they're also fearing that, you know, the communication, um, that you may block them or you may not, you may stop talking to them. And I feel like the outcome here is a nine of cups. So they are going to come towards you with an offer of love here, but it's like, it's going to be very stuck and stagnant you know um it's like one minute they're um probably coming in with uh emotions and love and the next minute it's just uh they're going the opposite and it's like they're showing you that they you know have feelings and emotions but then the knight of pentacles here they're not really like planning to to move this forward to the next level and there's a block here like you know they feel like they feel like they're coming towards you with emotions and love but they can't progress for whatever reason. They're not progressing with you. Let me see. What is the message here that I need to give to Pisces in regards to this person? Mm -hmm. What is the message that I need to give to Pisces in regards to this person? Because there is an offer of love. There's a gesture of emotions and love here. But it's just like there's no progress. Like someone's not trying to progress here. Like they're not trying to progress. They're not trying to move too quickly, move too fast. And this is all for a reason for some of you guys. Like I said, there could be another person in this situation. 
or it could be what I told you. Let me see there. I don't know. They're not proud of something. That's for damn sure. Um, finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hmm. Over our energy for yourself. Uh, it's time to take back control of your life. Give me one more card. Oh, wedding. Maybe someone's married. Maybe someone's married to someone. Okay, so maybe someone's married to a man. and Or maybe someone's married to a woman and they're a man and they want to be with a man. That's what it's looking like. Tell me more. And they're afraid of what people might think. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Worth waiting for. Mm. Yeah. That's sad. It's one of those things where it's like being accepted. Maybe socially accepted in some way. And yeah. That's what I'm seeing here, you guys. Guys, please tell me. What do you think? What do you think in the comments? What is this outside situation with this devil in reverse? What is this outside situation with this devil in reverse? The Empress, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot. Wow, the Ink is working. Yeah, this is a lot of happiness here. Oh my gosh, it's almost like someone wants to be a different person outside of this relationship. It's like someone wants to be a different person outside of, it's almost like sex change type energy is what I'm getting. It's almost like someone wants to be a different person outside of this. So Pisces, I don't know if this is one of your friends, one of your lovers, one of your partner, maybe your partner and you don't know about this, whatever. Um, someone really wants to open up and say, hey, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I like. And they want to be comfortable in their own skin. And they don't want to have to feel ashamed of who they are. They want to be able to communicate with you who they are and what it is that they want. The emotions that they feel. They don't want to feel ashamed or burdened, but they are ashamed to have this conversation with you. So I don't know if I'm speaking from the right Pisces fucking perspective here. Um, but they're really stuck at a crossroad and they feel burdened here in the month of October, but they do kind of want to move towards you, but they just don't know how to say it. And I'd still see that they're not kind of saying it because the moon is here with the eight of wands. So I don't know. Yeah. Let me see here. Tell me about this moon and this. What's happening here with this moon and this? Because Pisces, you're, you're over here like, I don't even care anymore. You're not really invested in, in it. Like, you're like, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Like, uh, when you're ready, you're ready. When you're not, so the death. Looking at principles, we got a couple of times. They're going back and forth. They're avoiding it. So the moon here is that they want to reveal something, but they're shying away from it. Because they're avoiding an ending. In regards to this, and the Knight of Wands is like they're walking away and they're going back and forth, and then they're walking away, then they're going back and forth, then they're coming back towards you. Um, yeah, you tell me what this is about. Oh gosh. It's almost like someone's coming around you and showing up around you, but they may not be t uh, telling you what they're tr what they're really, really wanting to tell you. It's like someone who's coming up and being really nice and sweet and loving and stuff, uh, but then they're still not progressing with something here that they need to be saying. They want to reveal this. My God, they want to reveal this so badly. They do. They're tired of hiding in the fucking darkness. They're tired of being the only ones who carry this with them. They want to talk to you, Pisces. They want to tell you about this. I don't know if you're married to this person and maybe they want something outside of this differently. There is definitely something going on here deeper than what you think. But um, 
Yes, they're ashamed of this. Oh my God, they're so ashamed. I just I just needed to clarify it again. Ten of Swords, the strength in reverse. Nine of Swords, the seven of Swords. They're sneaking. They're like they're going back and forth. They're indecisive. They're an emotional roller coaster. Um, I don't feel like Pisces. They really want to like let you know this, but you know, hey. What am I? What am I? Who am I? Who am I? I'm just the fucking reader. Who am I to tell you? <laughs> so what it looks like is maybe this is your friend or somebody you know, and maybe they're maybe they're dealing with a married person or a married man, um, and maybe this is somebody you like and you have feelings for, but they're dealing with a married man or a married woman, or maybe they're dealing with the opposite sex type shit. Yeah, so. You know, the only way I can go deeper is to actually do a personal reading. But you will know your story because this is something that you've already felt. So hearing me say this is going to give you confirmation, okay, that you're not fucking crazy. Let me see. How will Pisces react to this reading? Will this give them confirmation that they're looking for? Page of Cups in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. All right, Pisces, holler at me.